Hello, Mr. Granola here. I am going to hopefully walk you through uh, a little uh, tutorial here on how to take this PNG butterfly and really uh, make something unique out of it. So, notice that this butterfly is a PNG, it's a transparent image. If I move the butterfly around, you can always see the squares behind it. Um, and the other thing that you need to notice is if I take it off the page, you see that gray behind it. This isn't uh, a fake out image um, where it looks like a PNG, but it isn't one. Um, you need a true transparent image where you can actually see through the hollow spots in the drawing. Now that that's settled, I want to kind of just make this as big as I can to fit well on the page and then center my butterfly. All right, now um, I believe that what we're going to do is take images and fill the background of this butterfly. So the next thing I want to do is go to insert an image and I'm going to search the web. Now Mrs. DeFeo's crew, I believe you guys are using um, Anne Frank. So I'll do a search for Anne Frank. All right, so you get a bunch of pictures of Anne Frank. I'll grab Anne here and insert. Now. Right away, you'll notice that this is this image is way too big for what we're going with. So I'm going to shrink it down. But now, we're not getting the effect that we're going for because it's, again, too big. So I'm going to use the back wing here as my guide. And I'm going to go to my masking tools. And I'm going to attempt to do a circular crop there. If I do that... It's still not exactly the way I want it because it's just a little bit too big and it's on top of the butterfly. This would look better if it was behind the butterfly. So I'm going to right click on the Chromebook. You take your two fingers and click at the same time and go down to order. I'm going to send this to back. Now this image is in the butterfly wing. You can see it's spilling out here a little bit. You can see it's spilling out there a little bit. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to crop it again. And I'm going to try that diamond crop. See if that gives me some better options there. And again, I'll just grab that little dot at the top, rotate, center. and then order, send it back. Now that's a pretty good, I'm just moving with the arrow keys there. That's a, a much better view of what I'm going for, but now she doesn't quite fit there and fill that up completely. So what I'm gonna do here is take this shape, I'm gonna insert a circle, put that on the wing there, and I'll go with yellow, right click, order, send it back. And if you don't like the yellow, that's quite all right. You can change the color. Now, if I click, I can't actually click on the yellow or an anymore because they're in the back. So I need to click on the butterfly, order, send it back. Now I can click on an, I can click on my, or, or my yellow circle, and I can adjust. Maybe it needs to be orange maybe green, right? And then I can even go to my image there and I can recolor there. If that's an appropriate, um, you know, view there. You can also add a reflection on your image. See that there? And that might just be a nice after effect, depending on what you're going for. I don't think it's necessary what I'm doing right now, though. All right, so there we go. Happy, order, click on the butterfly again, order, 
bring them to front. Now the butterfly is on top. All right, and let's do one more image there. Insert image. Actually, you know what? Let's take the image we have of Anne and our circle, and I'm going to just hold down shift and select both. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them. And I'm going to move them over here. Now, what I can do is rotate, and I can flip them horizontally. Put them where they belong up here. And again, click on the butterfly, right click, order, bring to front. And now the wings of the butterfly look the same on the top. Now you can do this with any image insert image, search the web. If you are looking for images that are open uh, source Creative Commons that you can use in anything, then you search in here. If you are looking for images that have a little bit more um, restrictions on them, you can do an open Google search, save it to your computer, and then insert them. Um, since you're just going to hang these in the hallway, you can probably go either way. Um, but please keep in mind that if you want to uh, display them anywhere else, or if you want to show off your work, you need to be doing a Creative Commons image search. And Google uh, Drawings in this little search the web feature does that for you. Um, it kind of uh, allows you to really kind of drill down on only stuff that you're allowed to use. If you have questions on how you can make your butterfly work, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, it's always a good idea to name your butterfly um, if uh, Mrs. McFad doesn't name one for you. But that's pretty much it. That's how you can make this work. Uh, one more time, if you just insert a shape here, right, I can draw it. I can rotate it. And then you can order, send it back. But please, please, please keep in mind that if you want to click on that again, you've got to throw, oops, throw your butterfly, order, send it back to the back. All right, then you can work on what you want here. All right, and then order, click on the butterfly again, bring to front. And that's how you can mess around with those things. This should give you everything you need to kind of make this work. Good luck with the project, and again, ask me if you have questions.